Day two of the 14th World Wushu Championship saw four gold medals up for grabs in the Taolu discipline. First up came the men's Daoshu and Singapore's Siwei Joen Lim took his country's first medal of the tournament with a powerful performance that scored 9.65. That was good enough for bronze. Indonesia's Edgar Xavier Marvello produced the biggest surprise of the day, the 19-year-old putting in the best performance of his career to take silver, whilst China continues their dominant start to the championships, Xi Feng Li taking the gold with a score of 9.72. Strong stuff once again, good posture, into the lateral twist, and that's a good solid split landing. Yeah, 但是其实这种辛苦也挺值得的。我拿到了金牌，真的很很很好，谢谢。So confirmation of the standings with Lee taking the gold from Marvello and Lim and Indonesia's Ahmed Hulefi only just missing out on his second medal of the championships in four. Next up on mat one was the women's Xiang Shu, and it was Vietnam's Thieu V. Diong who put in the best performance of the session to take her nation's first gold medal here in Kazan. Good control of the Xiang here. Wonderful power transition. And what a split landing. Tôi là vận động viên đến từ Việt Nam và hôm nay tôi rất vui và một lần nữa khi đã giành chiếc huy chương vàng này. Đây là lần thứ hai ở cái nội dung này tôi lần nữa đã giành được huy chương vàng. Tôi rất là vui và hạnh phúc ạ. Bây giờ không biết nói gì hơn là cảm ơn tất cả mọi người ạ. Chào tất cả khán giả Việt Nam. Yong pipped Korea's Hiju Seo by just 0.01 of a point, with Japan's Keiko Yamaguchi joining her on the podium to take bronze. Behind the medalists, four other nations were represented in a high-scoring top eight. Over on mat two, Tatiana Ifshina gave the home crowd plenty to cheer about as she took Russia's second medal of the championships with this silver medal performance. Advancing well, using the full width of the mat, showing great power here. Ahead of her, it was another masterful display by the Chinese, with Hu Ying Chen taking the gold. So, gold for Chen with a score of 9.69 with Ifshina, He, Wasni, Tan and Nian rounding out the top six. The biggest field of the day competed in the men's Nangun, with over 40 competitors displaying both grace and power in their quest for gold. Chinese Taipei's Po Wei Lai was fourth to compete, and this performance would set a standard that no one else could match. Wow, that was a wonderful flip. Good choreography and great control of the gun. Lai was joined on the podium by Malaysia's Mun Hua Ho and Korea's Yung Mun Lee, who finished just 0.01 of a point ahead of a three-way tie with Kao, Arabi and Huang all scoring 9.60. Day two of the championships also saw the combat discipline of Sander complete the round of 16 stages across both men's and women's competitions. The final event of the night was the men's over 90 kilogram category and the big boys didn't disappoint. Yusuf with the hard left, but it is Zhang Zi who lands the clean one. Last onto the mat were Kyrgyzstan's Kwan Abdramov and Romanian Daniel Florin Gita, 
and it was the Romanian who finished the night with the win to take him through to the quarterfinals. Driving off the mat, slide back, bang.